Here we go. Oh, God. The big unveil. Oh. oh. Eating out in Asia is just different. It's better. Many meals here revolve around ongoing cooking, drinking, and community-style eating that doesn't end until you're about to burst. From Korean barbecue to the king of group dining. The hot pot. A savory broth ready to cook up meat, veggies, and noodles throughout the night. Hot pot is all about sharing. It's so tropical, we all eat outdoors. But today, we're not eating just any hot pot. Oh. Today, we're trying out the most extreme hot pot variations you'll find anywhere. Oh. From ingredients that'll make you blush. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't sign up for this. To fish who gave up their oh. lives in order to make your night. Oh, there's so many fish. Today, we're doing hot pot to the extreme. Let's go. First up. Tai Chi Hot Pot, specializing in all things goat. These places are all around Ho Chi Minh City. When you drive around, you know, because you see usually a cute picture, standing cute. proud, looking curious. Well, here he is now. This is my friend Harry. Calvin grew up in California, but he's been in Vietnam for the last 11 years. He's a chef, restaurateur, and entrepreneur, currently running El Camino, a Tex-Mex restaurant, and Easy Tiger, a gin bar. Uh. Why do people love the soup? I think after they're so drunk and they've been dipping all night long, the best thing is to drink a bowl of broth and sober up and then try to drive home. <laughs> now, I don't, I, now, I don't recommend people driving home drunk, but if you do, make sure you have a bowl of hot pot broth. Today's first hot pot starts with some taro, tofu, and fried tofu skin with some perilla on top. Soaking in a broth flavor with 20 different kinds of traditional herbs. Oh, let me unveil. Wow. Bones? Well, not just bones. What's inside the bone? Explain. Well, each bone has marrow inside. What they do is they boil it, and we take a straw over there, and we suck it out. Oh, really? Yes. I'm not trying to be mean, and maybe I'm going to love it. This seems like a hot pot you would make in a prison. Ah, prison hot pot. Well, what, is there something under there? I'm just seeing more bones. Oh, here's okra. Good. Thank God. Mm, very high. It probably needs to be cooked a little more, too. <laughs> but otherwise, the broth is quite nice. It is? There is really no meat in here, is there? <laughs> <laughs> so, here's a bone. I popped this in like a Capri Sun. Oh, it's soft. It's gonna be hot, though. Fair warning. Marrow is hot. Let's go for it. Oh! Mm. It's fatty and rich. Just a weird cylinder of kind of hard fat. What would you describe that as? A fatty surprise. <laughs> now, usually, if you have hot pot, you're gonna have some veggies you can throw in there, and then we've got some noodles here, too. But very special, right here, this is a goat brain. Now, you grew up as an Asian person. Did your mom ever make you or ask you to eat brain? Yeah, she always said I'd be smarter if I eat brain. Did she really? Yeah. Why, it's such a funny thing. Have you ever had brain before? Yeah. You have? Oh, like eating, yeah, yeah. that too. Okay. So now we've got some of these nice other floating bits in here, some greens, tofu, and then the brain. It's gonna be super hot. Oh, it's really hot. I'm gonna wait a little bit. So how are you doing? <laughs> mm, not too good. It's creamy. It's like cottage cheese, but the flavor is good. It's yeah. Really, it has a really gamey, but mild game. It's so creamy and fat. Ask me a mathematical question. Um, five minus 11. 72. Team. Oh. Before we finish our breakfast to move on to the second location, there is one more thing here that I don't actually know what it is. It's not hot pot. Oh, son of a gun. Hey, when did this goat die? Uh, so good. 6 a.m. Oh, okay. I can't say it properly. Something like deep gun. Deep gun. Deep gun. This is raw goat's blood. I've actually had this many times before. It's going straight blood. You want some lime? No, no, I'm good. I'm just going for it. You don't want to it. kill any bacteria. Uh-uh. Mm. You see this little bits and parts in there? Yeah, there's crunchy peanuts, but there's all the opals that have been boiled and just like minced down. It gets really crunchy. Yeah. I know it's 10.30 a.m. and we're just eating some blood here, but man, I hate that I like it. I, I like it too. You think those guys are eating the same thing? No, no, they got way more sense than <laughs> Our second hot pot. This place was recommended by Calvin. Thanks, Calvin. Can't wait to see what I'm in store for here 
I'm not sure yet what this type of hot pot is, but this restaurant is the first to sell it in Saigon. They call themselves Lao Kakeo, which means hot pot with kakeo. But what is kakeo? A specialty. Now there are hundreds of fish in this small little region. Oh. And they are fighting for their lives right now down there. Do you want to see it? I want to see it. Are you sure? Yeah, I think you revealed the surprise already. That is true, I did, didn't I? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, whoa. There's about 300 little snake looking fish in here, swimming around on top of each other. I'm gonna try to grab one. Get in there, Sunny. Oh, these are impossible to catch. How are we gonna eat these? Come, I got it, I got him, I got him. All right, oh, it's kinda cute, isn't it? Really, it looks kinda like a type of mud fish. So this is for eating. Yeah. <laughs> There's almost no water. How are they still alive? I'm guessing amphibians don't need much water. Are they truly amphibious? The producer told me they're amphibians. <laughs> <laughs> the hot pot is made by putting in a load of sour soup creepers. It sounds cool, but it's just a sour leaf. Then coriander, fried shallots, and finally some chilies on top. Oh, and the fish. They like to make sure they're super fresh. Okay, so he's got the fish right here. In a moment, he's gonna put it in here. They said we have to be careful. Usually. It's gonna splatter. No. How's your insurance policy? Ah, go for it. Oh, there's so many fish. The moment of truth. What the? That was so fast. Now, before we get to the actual hot pot, we have also fish here. Mudfish popsicle. This is a salt and chili marinated fish. Would you eat it like a piece of corn or what? That'd be kind of cool to do it. I am more of the, um, you know, LA style porn star. You eat the whole fish? Yeah. I'm gonna eat mine like a little piece of corn. So the bones are so soft that you can eat the whole thing. Is that right? I find the seasoning to be quite delicious. Just super salty and full of fresh chilies. Really good smoky flavor. Mm. When you look at how this place operates, big, bustling, full of energy, a lot of live fish being thrown into scalding hot water. Is there anything you would change? Uh, no, because this is truly what Vietnam's all about. The style of sharing, being together, it's being social. Especially during these times, being social in Vietnam is quite nice. It's been in here for about five minutes, let's check it out. Here we go, the big unveil. Let me grab one of these, let me take a look. Oh, dude. Have you ever seen that movie, Aliens? Yes. This looks just like Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say it looks more like Prometheus, <laughs> but I can see Sigourney in here. I mean, she's a beautiful lady. She is. It's a nice looking fish, that's what I'm saying. Are you? Ooh. Oh, bone, bone, oh, bone. I think the grilled one has a better flavor and texture. Better mouthfeel. This broth is just nice, savory, full of aromatics. The meat shreds right off, comes off very easily. The meat's good, but the bone is very apparent and it sticks out a lot. It does. Would you eat this again? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I kind of like it, man. If you can chew it sufficiently and not choke, this is a real winner. I like it more than I thought I would. I'm not gonna lie, Tyler has a her brain fried. Okay, Calvin had his fun at the last location with his little fish surprise, and now it's my turn. Here. Many cows cut into many bits and pieces and organized by body part. Look at this little bony part. Whoa, that must be ribs or something, right? No, it's a cow throat. Tons of tendon that's been boiled. Beef tail. Finally, now you guys have heard of superfoods, right? Spinach, blueberries, but what about a bull penis, that's gotta be a superfood. I can't wait to share these new findings with my good friend Calvin as we chow down on some hot pot and he's gonna have no idea what's coming to him. Let's go. My challenge for Calvin starts easy enough. A fall-like broth containing taro, onion, scallion, coriander, and pepper. Oh, and I forgot the meat. Wait, 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 I didn't sign up for this. Power move. Can you tell me what's what? These look like hard boiled eggs, but these are definitely the testicles. There's not testicles, man. Are they really? Yeah. Oh my God. And then we've got spleen, stomach, tripe. This kind of long tubular part is penis. Can we say penis on YouTube? And well, I think the correct scientific word is like wang. Would be kind of weird, right? We can't say We could say dork. Uh, it still sounds kind of dirty. Bean. 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 Yeah, that's Chinese though. It's also been over really. Boom. So we go tendon first, then we go the penis. I mean the bean. bean. There you go. It's family friendly. It is. Let it warm up and then we'll put the veg in. 
So this has been boiling now for a few minutes. I want to try these testicles and see what they're all about. They're already pre-cooked a bit. It's like a mushroom cap. Yeah. Uh. The testicle itself, it's like very dense and chewy, but it's creamy like a yolk of an egg. Yeah, but kind of creamy. It's actually pretty good. I enjoyed it. That is the king of all king. I mean, look how cute it is, the way they cut the top and bottom, like a little flower design on there. Yeah. What they Love it. It's like tendon. It's gelatinous. It has a really meaty, beefy flavor to it. I think that's delicious, man. Yeah. And they've already boiled this for probably hours. Ow. So all they're doing here is kind of reactivating it, rehydrating it, so you're ready to take it down. Yeah, it's really good. Of course, they have other stuff here. You can just get straight up beef if you want. Yeah, but then why get beef when you can have beef, right? right. Anyways, should we go to the next location? I think we're ready to do that. But wait. Woo. Okay, guys, we have been everywhere today. Here in Ho Chi Minh City, we've seen so many different unique hot pot remixes. Even leading up to, what is the word in Vietnamese? Ho Vi Lo. Yeah. Balut is a semi-developed duck egg. You can find them all over Southeast Asia. I've tried it many times before, but in Vietnam. You see what I'm seeing? They took it a step further and made it into a hot pot. Oh. Before jumping into the hot pot, we're heading to one of Saigon's biggest egg warehouses to learn how it all works. Xin chào. First of all, he's going to help me talk to you a little bit. Trước mặt, Khoa sẽ là người giải thích cho Sun đi. I ate three hot pots today. Thank you. Really? Một ngày ăn hai tô dữ lắm rồi đó. Really? Thế cả? Oh. <laughs> this warehouse supplies all types of eggs to the market. But first, they got to do a quality check. Each egg is examined to make sure the fetus inside is still living. So-called dead eggs are still eaten, but for a cheaper price. Have they been developing for a certain amount of days? 26 days with hot weather outside gives you a full, mature duck. So according to these folks, the best time to eat a developing duck egg is between 16 to 18 days, when the feathers and bones are not fully formed. They're just a little formed, and also bathing in our hot pot. But before that, the Egg Boss has offered a taste of Vietnam's incredibly unique and bizarre developed quail egg. It's like the duck egg, but for beginners or kids. It's bite size. Yeah? Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's actually very good. Yeah, it's so tiny and compact. Yeah, it has like that hyper yolk taste. It's just a mix of textures, but it's all small. So you crunch through it so easily. I think it's delicious. It's really funky, it's different. If you've never seen it before, it's gonna freak you out. It's a fun little snack. It's a fun little snack. Our last hot pot for today contains beef balls, beef brisket, tendon, and pork bones. The broth is made with traditional medicinal herbs. Soak it. Hot vilo. Along with onion, coriander, shallots, chilies, and finally, pepper. It's a unique combination here because they have pork stock bones. There is tendon in here. So we've had cow balls. Should we go for it? Here we go. These balls lack the power. Why are you spinning? You felt like you had to spin it out. I did. And eat it synchronized yes. with me? <laughs> That's okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, wait, I did want to say one more thing. Hold on. I'm good. Okay, here is finally the egg. I mean, look here, dude. You can see the veins, feathers here. Eventually, these feathers would have been used to aid in flight. All right, I'm gonna put some broth in there to freshen it up. <laughs> I grew up eating this. Did you know that? In the USA? In the USA, yeah, they would sell this. So good. Right? Well, I don't know, man. The flavor is good. It tastes like a savory duck soup. It's just that I think I felt its feet. Oh. Yeah, I think I felt like little bones and a femurs. Since we've been to the warehouse, we can really appreciate what goes into making this. Definitely. Should we go for eating the whole one? I think so. Let's go for it. Oh, good one. 
<laughs> it's like my childhood all over again. It's good, I gotta say. I enjoyed it. It has a great texture. The flavor is very savory. It's just kind of taking on some elements of the broth. But it's the little hearts in there. It's the femur, it's the wing. Those little things that kind of give you the crunch of texture that you can't get anywhere else. So normally, we're gonna keep drinking beers, we're gonna throw in veggies, and finally at the very end, we're gonna eat some noodles. But for now, we're gonna say goodbye to you folks. Thanks for joining us today. Let's cut to a conclusion. If you want your meal to be more than a meal, if you want your meal to be an experience, an event with friends or coworkers, with beer bottles cluttering the table and a constant stream of tasty and also unidentifiable ingredients boiled right before you, if this is what you're looking for, oh. Hot Pot ah, yeah. is the answer. Oh. And be sure to check out our second channel, More Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show. Huge thank you to my dude right here, Calvin. Handshake. Handshake. Post Corona, we're still doing handshakes <laughs> over here. That's wild. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Peace. Peace. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you.